Hey guys, welcome back to another video at Jensen's Reptiles. Uh, today I want to give a shout out to Northern Exotics. Um, this video was a suggestion by him, so definitely wanted to give him credit for it. And I'll drop a link to his channel in the description below. He's got some brilliant videos over there, so please uh, go give him a like, go check him out and subscribe to his channel. Um, what we're going to talk about today is enrichment. So that can mean a variety of things to a variety of people, but I want to talk a little bit about what it means to me. So this video is not necessarily me telling you what to do, but if you do get any suggestions out of it, fantastic. If you prefer to do things a different way, that's fine too. So enrichment. Basically, we're going to be talking about how to keep your snakes interested and engaged in their own environment and outside of it. So we're going to look at Indy's enclosure today because he is being fairly social right now and he's come over to say hello. So every time I clean Indy's enclosure, and this goes for uh, all of my colubrids and, and my constrictors as well, I try and change things up a little bit in, in the environment. Now, snakes, once they've been in their own home for a while, it smells like them, they know where they're going, they know their way around, and they start to get a little bit complacent. They might come out and do the same things every day. And if you spend a lot of time with your animals like I do, then you'll start to see them falling into that same pattern after a while. Or well, they'll come out, they sit in the same spot, they go back to their hide, they come out, they bask for a little bit, they climb, but it's always in these same places because they know them very well. And whilst it's all well and good being really familiar with your environment, captive snakes have a tendency to get quite overweight. Now, if you've got a really strict feeding plan, you know what you're doing, that might not be the case. But if you're new to snake keeping, it's actually quite easy to have an overweight animal without even knowing it. Um, so what you wanna be doing is keeping your snake's mind engaged, keeping them curious and exploring and, and getting used to new things. Now, I'm not saying to unsettle them all the time, um, but what I am saying is switch things up a little bit. So whilst the substrate is um, nice and clean and all of the enclosure is new, it might be a little bit overwhelming for a young snake to have that happen frequently. But if you don't change out the substrate, but once in a while you're mixing up the branches or you keep the branches the same and you put new substrate in or you do a full change, however you want to do it, all of this is providing your snake with something new to go and smell, something new to go and explore, something different to climb on, a different way of moving around their home. Now, if you look at Indy, he's quite small. If we just lift his hide ever so slightly here and have a look at him. Now, he's not an enormous snake. He's a juvenile corn snake. And he's got a bit of growing to do still. But he's still about three feet long, maybe a little bit more. So forgive my cat in the background, he'd like some attention. Hello, boy. Um, what I was saying, sorry, um, is that he's about, he's about three, three and a half feet. Now, this enclosure is four feet wide. So I've limited this animal to four feet of width, two feet of depth, and two feet of height. Now, as far as his curious little mind goes, there's not actually a huge amount of space. So what I do want to do is constantly change it up and get those new environments uh, going for him. But he still always has his safe zone. So he always has his hide. He's always got his midway point. He's got a hide down at the other end as well. But what I do like to change up, let me take you over to the other side here, is this bit here, this climbing structure. So the way it was set up for Indy previously, he had uh, an upright bit here, a flat bit going across the top, um, and it, it was a little bit similar to this, to be honest. But I put in different branches, so a different texture, a different smell, something different going on. And in those couple weeks following that change, he is active and he's moving his body and he's engaging with his environment. He's still got his safe places. He's not nervous, he's not afraid, but he is moving. And I can't stress enough that a snake just sitting there doing nothing all the time is really, really unhealthy. You'll always have species that like to just curl up and sit in their hide all day. Like royal pythons, for example, my royals are notoriously lazy, but every night they're out and they're moving and exploring. Now, that's all well and good. You've got an enclosure, there's lots going on, that's fine. Some people prefer to have a more minimal enclosure and spend more time handling their snake. That's absolutely fine as well. Please don't let me dictate to you how to keep your pet. You decide what time you've got to do what. Now for me, I work all day. 
Um, my, now my partner is home during the day, but the snakes are more awake in the evening. So we can handle a lot of the snakes as well. Um, but there'll be days when I work a little bit later or I've got things going on and we have got 12 snakes amongst the other animals that we've got here. So there's not always time to give them exactly what they want and need, which is why I provide them with environments like this. Now, if you've got two snakes or you know one snake, three snakes, just that kind of more manageable amount, so to speak, um, you might say, actually, no, I give my snakes an hour a day uh, if they want it, and they come out and they explore my house and my room and they, you know, they, they explore my duvet or my armchair or whatever it may be. Um, we've got a cat in the house, so that's not always feasible either, but we definitely always get the snakes out when, when they really want to. Um, but when it comes to handling outside of the enclosure, again, you can take them into new spaces and experience different smells as long as they feel safe with you. That's really all that matters. Let's go over and have a little look at Indy again because he's looking rather cute over here. There he is, he's a little bit shy today. Um, but yeah, so do what is natural for you. Do what fits best with the way you live your life and uh, what fits best for the personality of your animal as well. Without anthropomorphizing them too much, they are all very different animals. Of the 12 snakes that I've got, they're all wildly different. Um, so I would definitely recommend get to know your animal and uh, handle them in the way that they appreciate. I've got snakes here that don't like being handled at all. And um, in those environments, I try and give them more enrichment and uh, change it up a bit more frequently so that they don't get bored. Um, but yeah, like when it comes to handling, if it's nice weather, I mean, not too hot um, and not too windy, Take your snakes outside as long as they feel secure and as long as you're confident handling them in that kind of environment. Um, it's great to go and get some natural UV. Uh, be careful with any albino animals, of course. Um, but yeah, take them into your bedroom, take them through to the kitchen, let them smell all these different things. And as long as they're properly supported and properly uh, cared for whilst you're doing that, you're gonna have a snake that, that's enriched and an animal that experiences different smells and, and different different sights and, and people and all sorts of things. Um, so let me know in the comments below your views on enrichment and, and what you choose to do for your pets. And um, hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, definitely let me know. If you think that uh, doing things differently is better, let me, let me know too. I'm always open to discussion. Um, as I said, please go and check out Northern Exotics. He's got a great channel, lots of brilliant videos on there. And uh, go give him a subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, any questions, drop them in the comments below as usual. And I will catch up with you guys soon.